Well, everyone, it was a long time coming, but Fortnite, unfortunately, is in a very, very weird spot, which isn't necessarily even a bad spot, to be completely honest. So what happened was, if you guys couldn't tell yesterday, Fortnite kind of got blocked on the Apple Store and the Google Play Store, so you can't even really download it on mobile unless you have purchased it before, which I have a tutorial on my second channel. Or if you have the APK on an Android device, you can just download it that way. But officially, it's not really available on them, and... It's for kind of a weird reason, but also I think it's also very important and I'll explain why. So Fortnite has had, or just Epic Games, has had this weird history with in-game purchases with Apple and Google. Before with Google, they had their app on the Play Store Fortnite and then eventually they took it down and put it on their own website because Google and Apple take a cut in in-game purchases. And if you have a small app, like I think it's like 30% or something, and if you have a small app that gets like, a, and if you make like a hundred dollars or something like that a month off it it's only like thirty dollars or whatever so it's really not that big of a deal but when you're making as much money as fortnite is like that is just so much free money going into the hands of apple and android and google and all of them and i don't know if it's a good thing a bad thing i mean that's totally up to the developers i'm not like a game developer but what's crazy is is that fortnite recently just yesterday they put out their in-game purchase thing and it was like all v bucks are now 20 percent off or something like that i don't remember it feels like a year ago this happened it was literally just yesterday and basically what happened was was that both apple and google took down fortnite within the play store and app store because they offer their own in-game purchase instead of using their own proprietary in-game purchase methods that Apple and Google both have because they have to use those ones. If they don't, then they won't supply them on the App Store. And so this makes it a very interesting dynamic because on Google, on one hand, if it's not on the Play Store, you can still down the APK. You can still use it and you know mess with it either way. Like it's not really that big of a deal. But on an iPhone, the only way to even download apps for the most part is through the App Store, unless you want to jailbreak your device or you want to install like the alt store or something like that and you know sign an IPA that way. But either way, you're kind of screwed on the iPhone side of things. Where on Android, it's not really that bad. So that's a really, really big deal in my opinion for iOS users. But like I said, there are still some methods on how to go about it. You can download them. You know, if you've downloaded the app before, you can go and just re-download it through your purchase history. But if you're somebody who didn't have it, then you're kind of screwed in a lot of ways of officially downloading it. And at this point, I mean, Fortnite will eventually come on. I mean, they're losing more money now, I'm sure, than if they were just on the App Store in the beginning with. So I'm sure they'll take that out and then just put it back up. But what's even crazier is, is that Fortnite is now going to war with Apple. Apple, they actually, or just Epic Games in general, they put out a lawsuit and pretty much what they're saying is, is that, you know, they're, Apple's kind of monopolizing their in-game purchases and just monopolizing developers because there's no other way for users to pay for anything and for at least for in-game purchases even for app purchases because apple takes a cut of that too so that's a pretty big deal and that's actually really annoying now the only way i can see fortnite kind of circumventing this is potentially if they have to purchase the v bucks online through a website that's like the only thing i can think of or if they just like put ads in the game which then that would really suck but those are some extra ways i can see epic games making money from fortnite but with these in-game purchases, I mean, it's a pretty big deal. And I understand other games and other people, you know, they have to deal with this too. I mean, we have games like, you know, PUBG, Mobile, and like Real Racing 3. I don't even know if anybody plays that, but games like that, people play those games. They have in-game purchases sometimes. And yeah, Apple takes a cut of that too. But with a game like Fortnite, I mean, this game probably has like millions of users like every day or a week or something. I don't know. And that's a lot of money that Apple is taking from them. So on one hand, like, I think it's totally okay. It's justified for Apple to take it. It's in their terms of service. It kind of makes sense, but but also I can kind of feel bad for Epic Games, which is funny because they're probably making billions of dollars from this thing, but I kind of feel bad for them too, but I'm, I don't know. It's kind of up in the air, but that's kind of what I'm seeing at in terms of now, so that's really pretty much it. Let me know your opinion on this. This is pretty crazy. <laughs> if you guys have any other questions or anything let me know in the comment section as well hit the like button on me so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so me so much for you guys can hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my second channel more importantly everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then